So how to manage your spreadsheet? That is the central question of this week's video. How to make sure that that cute little spreadsheet puppy is not going to turn into this huge monster. That everything remains clear and calm and error free. So in order for us to dive into how to manage a spreadsheet, we're going to look again at the hardware store. I hope you remember this example where we export data from a register and analyze our sales in a spreadsheet. So here's a recap of the data that is in this spreadsheet. We have a list of items that we're selling. We have their names, their selling and purchasing price the margin, which is the difference between the purchasing and the selling price, and the same margin expressed in percentage. So this is really a very small spreadsheet. There's hardly anything that could go wrong with such a small example. So in this sense, it's really useful as a running example because it's really like the puppy. It's super small, so if we make sure that while it's still small, it behaves well, it might grow up to be a responsible spreadsheet. So remember also from the second week's videos that if you use a link, for example, in a spreadsheet, a direct link to another worksheet, if you start sorting the links, everything gets messed up. So this is a typical risk in a spreadsheet. And our solution so far was just to make sure that we use the right formulas. We know how to build the formulas and we know that if we use an index match, max, index match function, that nothing goes wrong, that even if you sort the other part of your spreadsheet, then still you get the right results. However, remember that many things in your spreadsheet go, can go wrong. This is just one example. There are so many things that could potentially go wrong. Maybe you input the wrong value. Maybe you use the wrong formula. Maybe you miss copy paste and you copy paste your data in a wrong part of the spreadsheet. And it's not just you, you are not the only one working with the spreadsheet. In a typical situation, 12 different people are working with one spreadsheet. So maybe you know what to do after you follow this MOOC, but does everyone else involved in your office in the spreadsheet? If you send your spreadsheet to someone from sales, will they also know what formulas to use? So everything in this week's videos is about how to keep our spreadsheet safe, how to keep the spreadsheet safe and keep the, the bad influences out. Wrong inputs, wrong formulas, how are we going to pr protect ourselves from those bad inputs? And remember, other disciplines have very similar problems, like programming, but also hardware design. If you build a car, this car is not going to go on the highway before it has been extensively stress tested. We do these type of things with cars before we even allow someone to drive in them. Other domains use testing to make sure that whatever they build is really well structured. And that is exactly the approach that we are going to take in this week's video. We're going to stress test our spreadsheet and make sure that nothing can go wrong. 